Hello all, how are you and welcome back to level 10 to the Prem with me, John aka Old Mansula. We are back again and things have been going really, really well for us. We can't ask for much more and how much better than they've gone. It's been absolutely fantastic and you've probably been looking at the screen already. You can see exactly how good we have been doing. Obviously, first game we had the 6-1 win against Brentford, uh, Brentwood even. Uh, that was on the last episode. Sorry there hasn't been many episodes. I've, I've been so busy with work and sorting my house out because we, we're about to sell the house and um, just, yeah, little bits and bobs here and there and that. I just didn't get round to recording. So apologies for that. Hopefully things should start to um, get a little bit more regular again now. I'm going to try my hardest to you know, find that time uh, and hopefully you'll notice that very, very soon. But We'll get back into it. Yeah, we played Brentwood, beat them 6-1 in the last episode. It was absolutely fantastic. We then played Kids Grove and beat them 6-3. Another fantastic win for us there. As you can see, Moses and Harding getting the goals for us there overall. Uh, we then played Fisher in the Cup and uh, FA Cup, and uh, we won 3-1. Should have beat them. They were a team that aren't quite as good as us. We then played Stockbridge, beat them 1-0. Difficult game, but a good win for us. Max, my Michael Harding even getting the goal. And now we come to AFC Rushton and Diamonds. And this is always going to be an important game for me. It's always a bit of a personal game. So for any of you who don't know, I come from Rushton. That's where I lived. I remember going. I used to go and watch the original Rushton and Diamonds uh, back in the day. Uh, you know, they go all the way up to about League One, I think it was at the time. Um, and then obviously they dissolved, turned into AFC Rushton and Diamonds as a fan-run club. And um, yeah, me and my dad used to go and watch them, that sort of stuff. And obviously I did a YouTube series only a couple of uh, seasons ago or years ago even um, with AFC Rushton and Diamonds. It was a really fun save. Really, really enjoyed it. Using the same database, well not exactly the same database obviously, but uh, the database from the FM Meds to, to play as Rushton and Diamonds back in that time as well. Um, so it's a little bit of a, a you know closer to home one for me here um against AFC Rushton and Diamonds and uh, they got relegated this season so or well, last season so they're uh, newly in this league as well but obviously should be a strong side having been relegated. Uh, Senses are looking quite good at home. We've had 307, 634. Obviously, could do with a little bit more. We're going to be playing at Hayden Road, which is uh, where Rushton and Diamonds play at the moment. Uh, so, we're away from home again, but we've got some good home games coming. Kempston, uh, we've got as well in the FA Cup. Uh, is that Kempston from Bristol area? Uh, I think it is uh, Kempston Rovers. Yeah, I'm sure it's uh, them. Um, but yeah, we've got Belper, we've got Cleese, Thorpe, Chase Town as well coming up. Should be some really good games that we can get uh, a good sort of set of runs going and all that sort of stuff. As you can see in the league, we're doing absolutely fantastic. Worcester are above us, but they have played a game in hand. We play R1 today. If we beat uh, Rushton and Diamonds, we'll go top. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we're doing pretty well. Nine points, only played three games. It doesn't really mean much. Harding is top goal scorer. We've got a lot of average ratings. We're in a really good position. We just need to keep working on it, get as many points as possible, and uh, see if we can challenge for the title, because that would be absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we have got a little bit of luck. There is actually a uh, playoff one in this in this league. It wasn't in the last league. We had to win it to be promoted. This time around, we have got a playoff, so we've got a little bit of breathing room in that sort of sense um so yeah overall it should be all right squad wise we're looking at okay. moses is injured though jack blackford is injured and um where are you where are you where are you andre brooks is a little bit tired uh after his last game so we're gonna have to tweak the team a little bit but overall like I said, it's all going really, really well. Sean Wilson should hopefully be joining very, very soon. Help us out on that right-hand side in the defence. Um, but yeah, like I said, overall, we're, we're in a really good position. And there's not much else really to talk about. There's not been too much happening. You know, we've only had a couple of games. We're going to get into the game straight away, see how we get on. Uh, we're going to have to have Sheriff on the left. We're going to have to have Kirby. All right, I might actually have it that way uh sheriff can play at pretty much in every sort of position he is um a bit of a you know jack of all trades in that sort of sense he's got a good first he ain't we got any good finishing though uh was his long shots a seven he could play there and then turn around on that way i think we'll go with that i think yeah we'll go with that for now we'll move you two around because you play better in those positions and we'll see how we get on like I said, it's going to be a difficult game and we've got some injuries and that sort of stuff, which isn't really helping us too much. But if we can get a win here, it would go 
bar for us. Uh, right, we've been on a good run lately. Go out there, impress me. It's not done a bloody thing. We'll give him a quick, passionate talk, as we always do. And uh, let's see how we get on. Hopefully, we can get a good win against a good uh, Rushton and Diamond side here you know, in their iconic sort of uh, blue and white kit. Um, they usually have a little bit of red in there as well, if I remember rightly. Uh, but yeah, they are, they're looking pretty good. They're playing it around quite nicely at the moment. It's Linton with a chance. Takes a shot. And with 18 seconds gone, Nathan Linton has scored for Rushton and Diamonds. His first goal of the season. I mean, we really should have done a lot better here. I mean, he sort of... Oh, how did we let this in? That was a terrible shot. Oh, well, it's a well placed. It's a terrible goalkeeper. I mean, by us, not the shot. The shot was a really good placed shot, but really we should be saving them. That's absolutely a dreadful start for us. Seven, eight minutes gone, and already we're going to be demanding a little bit more from our team, uh, as we really need to get something back. In. We need to get back into this really, really quick. Uh, Linton is having a game of his life from the looks of it. Twenty-five minutes gone. Not much happening, but we are having shots, just not having any uh, sort of bits, we've got a corner here, we put the ball in, it's a bit of a bad one and Linton, the goal scorer is going to collect it now, he goes running down the line, almost uh, leaves the ball behind, he gets a nice, a nice uh, rebound there but we do cut it out and Lancaster picks it up, what can he do here, knocks it back to Trotman who tries to get up the line, can't quite get it there but Lancaster with the ball now, gives it to Engenze, Engenze gets it into Harding, Oh, well, that was a bit of aerobatics there. Almost got it in. Um, we're not playing too good at the moment. All right, tactics-wise, let's change you two around because it's obviously not working like that. So let's see if that works a little bit better for us. We just don't really have that much cover for the attacking positions, which is a little bit of an issue that we do have at the moment. 47 minutes gone. We're 1-0 down. It's not looking too good at the moment. We're going to say assertively, show me something in the second half, and it's gone down like a sack of lead balloons. Uh, absolutely rubbish. Uh, let's see if we can get something out of this, though, because we really do deserve it, I feel. Uh, 53 minutes gone. We want to demand a little bit more from our team, try and get back into it. One or two players not playing particularly well. I think it's time to make a couple of changes. Uh, Turn is playing rubbish, so we'll bring on... Uh, winter coals for you and uh, we'll change you around in a minute Lancaster for Curran as well um, Trotman's not playing great Tom Ar Armitage can come on we're gonna make all our changes and let's see if we can actually get something out of this I mean this game's going quite quick so it might be that we're gonna actually have two games this episode because at the moment this is a really short episode uh, right let's see we've got a chance possibly a free kick a ball in Harding was offside though Oh, he should have done a bit better. He should at least have put it in the back of that, even if we were offside. Right, let's set, show some passion. And then really, let's see if we can get a, a draw. Well, I'll be happy with a draw. A draw will be absolutely fine. Uh, ten minutes left to go, though, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We've got a free kick here. We put the ball in deep. Ahead of down. No, it's been disallowed again. Jarif with his goal, and it's been disallowed for offside. I mean, how close to being offside? Oh, he was a foot or so when he offside from the looks of it but that's a shame that is absolutely a shame right let's uh, demand a little bit more can we get something there's only a minute or two of extra time we don't we lose the game absolutely terrible uh, it wasn't good enough we can only say that but hopefully now we should have a couple of players back which will really help us out how unlucky in defeat we were unlucky but Really, I mean, we should have done a little bit better. We had a good couple of chances. Right, there's not too far till the next game against Belper. So we'll quickly fast forward to that and then we'll get into the second game. Right, guys, we've just changed it around a little bit just to make sure that there is uh, some fresh legs on there. One or two players were looking a bit tired. Uh, we've brought in Lewis John. He's going to come in and Cameron Gale for in the defence. Uh, and also, who was it? Andre Books is coming back out on the left-hand side. Kilbury is coming in in midfield uh, and Crook is coming up front. Just uh, trying to swap it around a bit, get some fresh legs in there. Hopefully we can get the win. We're at home, so you'd think we've got a really good chance and then the team should be good enough to win this still. But you never know, do you? I might have made a complete hash of it by making those changes. Uh, right, we should we win this one very comfortably. It doesn't do anything again. We'll give them a passionate talk again. Hopefully it will do something. Um, you know what? We'll see how it goes. But 
also guys remember to subscribe and like and all that sort of stuff uh, as we kick off this game because it really does help the support has been fantastic um as well so uh, thank you for that lately but uh crook with the ball now what's he going to do gets it out of sheriff out on the right hand side sheriff gets tackled but we do pick it up crook again with the ball puts it to kirby kirby does get tackled again though We're just a little bit sloppy on that ball as uh it's a chance for them to come forward but we do get the ball but again it's a clearance that goes straight to them and they've got a chance with a little bit of a run here gets across him and just puts it wide we almost conceded that early goal again we've got a free kick brooks puts it in and it goes oh so close and it's just over as We've got a couple of chances. They've got a player maybe sent off. No, he's only been warned, I think. It's a Sheriff with a free kick. Puts it in, but the keeper does collect it quite nicely. And with five minutes gone, uh, it's pretty end-to-end -end stuff at the moment. Uh, we can't quite collect this ball here. We do keep close to him down the line, but he cuts inside. Dawn's now with a chance, but he just puts it wide. Uh, and... I'm a little bit worried here. Things aren't going quite as good as I thought. Brooks now with a free kick. Puts it in. We can't quite get it. But then Turner with the shot. And it just goes over. 12, 13 minutes gone. Oh, it's not really happening for us at the moment. I think we might have to make some changes. We're having the chances all of a sudden. As a penalty? It is a penalty. Right, who's going to be our best penalty taker? We don't really have a good penalty taker. But Cook... I think would be the best where he's got really high finishing so hopefully he can score something here for us uh, right Crook st stands up what's he going to do can he put it in the back of the net he does get in there also beating diamonds as well uh, as we've dropped down to fourth but that should hopefully put us back up sort of into the reaches of second or um, even first maybe a good goal by Crook there getting us in the lead and probably deserve it I think overall we've been the better side as we move up to the first spot um, left back has been injured we'll have to keep an eye on that as Sheriff can't quite keep the ball uh, it looks like a pulled fire actually so if it's a pulled fire I think we do need to change that just to make sure that it doesn't turn into something a little bit more as uh, they've got a chance now Dawn's with the ball cuts inside again he's done that a few times already he takes a shot but it's a bit of a wild one and it's not going to challenge the keeper at all. 32 minutes, let's demand a little bit more from the team as this is feeling a bit pressured. It looks like maybe I was a bit wrong uh, as we get the ball now. We launch it way up the field. We can't quite get it there though and it's a chance for them to come forward. Now they're playing around quite nicely. They get it out wide. Dawns again, who looks like the one who's being dangerous. He's getting closer and closer with those shots. Right, opponent's instructions, asked assistant, uh, where are Dawns? Right, um... We want to show him onto his weaker foot. Um, we are already pressing him though as well. Let's just do that. Just try and close him down a little bit. Show him onto his weaker foot and stop getting those shots off because he's uh, getting closer and closer and closer. As we're going to half time, we are in, in the lead, but only just, not really too much in it. Uh, we can only say assertively keep it going. We are winning. Uh, one or two players is like, starting to look a bit complacent. Kirby's not playing too good as well as Brooks at the moment and Sheriff but it's not his natural position so I don't feel like I should be too hard on him at the moment 46 minutes gone we've got a chance possibly here Turner gets it to Brooks Brooks gonna get across in he does to Crook get in there Crook with the goal Callum Crook will be second that is what we're talking about gives us that little bit of breathing room get in there my son I mean Turner does well here uh, nice little pass with good weight on it as well. Brooks then just back checks a little bit to Crook and uh, we'll pulls it back a little bit, I would say. And uh, Crook with the goal, he doesn't miss from them sort of spots. He's too good. And we've got maybe another chance here as we play a short uh, free kick to Kirby. Kirby puts it long. It's not really going to go anywhere and it's actually probably worked out worse for us as we do put a bit of pressure on them though. And then they play a really long ball all the way to the keeper Harris is going to collect this and what's he going to do knocks it to John John with a long ball up front we try to flick it on and we can't quite as we put again the pressure on them make them play that long ball we do cut it out quite well but they've managed to get the second ball and now they're playing some short passing and they might have a chance for a shot and it's a great goal by Calendar for them I mean he placed it perfectly didn't he and with a lot of power there was no stopping that uh Hewlett there does a great pass and then Raymond Kanda just a couple of touches and then bang it goes in I mean there was no stopping that 51 minutes gone 
we're going to demand a little bit more and we're going to make a couple of substitutions still one or two players not playing well we haven't really still got anyone who can play out on that right hand side that's the only issue we've got uh, Kirby's not playing great so let's bring on Engenze for you um, I mean we could put Turner there I guess and have Harding come in he won't we're going to have to move him around a little bit Gale not playing fantastic but we'll give him a bit more time let's go to the tactics we'll bring you up there but we'll have you play as a, a target man on attack and hopefully you drop back a little bit and it'll just give us that little bit of a chance as they put a long ball in they hit the bar we do just finally clear it I mean that was close that was very very close right shout we can't do anything it's all bell but they're actually all over us Brooks does collect this now and puts a long ball forward to Harding who gets past one gets it to Crook Crook now he knocks it all the way back and it's another long ball Crook does collect it can he get a good cross in he gets the ball luckily a few times and Brooks finally collects it Crook now with a cross in it's not going to go anywhere though and it's actually a chance for Belper to counter attack as Calendar comes flying forward now uh, we hold him up a little bit but it's a couple of good passes and Tom Hurt gets the goal <laughs> we started off so well this season but now we're just leaking goals uh, left, right and centre again Raymond Kanda was the main architect for this I think that pass there and then Sifa just knocked it forward to Hulit who just pull it in the back of the net right show some passion lads where is your passion because we are absolutely being dire at the moment we should be doing a lot better than this I think we're going to have to make one more substitution Withers is looking tired we can't make another substitution that is the problem we're going to have to go with it 20 minutes left and we have a couple of opportunities but we're just not creating enough crook though with a chance can he get his hat trick he can't he's gonna to have to play it all the way back to Armitage who then does get it to crook crook now can't can he ride he does ride the tackle and we get it in Lancaster get in there yes that is what we're talking about a little bit of luck with the passing but we do get this third goal uh, and put ourselves back in the lead with 20 minutes left to go crook rides the tackle well there Brooks with a good pass here, Lancaster's all by himself and really shouldn't miss from that sort of anchor distance anyway. Uh, 20 minutes left to go though and there's still a long way to go. I'm still worried that Belper might get back into this. We're leaking goals a little bit too much and with some tired legs there it's not looking too good. They've got a corner now which is not great. Can we do it? Max Harris does collect it really well and uh, make sure that that's all over we now play it quickly crook gets it out to brooks brooks to harding who should score hopefully he does get in there four two and surely that is it harding doesn't miss from that sort of spot he's too good uh, a striker and uh one quick little counter attack there crook picks up the ball gives it a nice pass to brooks who's got acres of space and he just gives it to harding and we completely take the defense out of play and it's another goal for us and we've nine minutes left to go surely that is it surely we have done enough now to win this uh they can't come back can they with a couple of minutes left to go it's a free kick to us john with the ball launches it up to harding harding's got a chance again can he make it two he plays it right against one of them but they get it to turner turner five two get in there turner gets another goal and uh we have maybe been a little bit fortunate we got rose our luck a little bit but it's it's worked out okay for us as we'll take that as a uh, turner with a good goal uh gets us definitely the win uh and yeah i mean we just absolutely the score line does flatter us a little bit i feel but overall we've done pretty good and he's on side by a, a quite a way four minutes of extra time left but it's not really gonna matter we might even make it six um which would be absolutely fantastic brooks now with a cross in finds harding but the keeper does have some good strong hands and uh, it looks like it's going to finish 5-2 there's still two minutes left to go and the highlight hasn't finished though uh, as we get the ball back here Lancaster with the ball and uh, what's he going to do here gets just past it he, he tried it to too long John gets it to Gale Gale now knocks it all the way back to the keeper the keeper then passes it out to Armitage Armitage to Brooks and Brooks down this line now gets past one and he's uh, got acres of room cuts inside makes the cross to Turner Turner gets the thicks get in there absolutely fantastic goal there well worked we absolutely ripped them apart and uh, yeah 
going from the first half where I thought uh, the first 60 minutes I thought they were the better side we've turned it on with the last 20 odd minutes to go since we got that third goal and uh, we're now 6-2 up absolutely blimmin fantastic can't quite believe it Withers is looking absolutely shattered but that is the game over and uh, we've gone from having a poor game to a, a fantastic game with that last 20 minutes uh, what more can we say apart from that uh, Kempston Rovers next in the FA Cup is going to be a big one for us um, but that will be the end of it we go back top joint with Osset United uh, who are a very good side as well uh, but we've got a much superior goal difference to anyone else after a couple of uh, good goals uh, Crook sets Hallam top he's how long are you injured for only a few days that's fine uh, Gow makes his debut Brooks on form a chance spot is Sunday. We'll look at, quickly look at the competition again. Uh, yeah, apart from that one little blip where we lost against Rushton and Diamonds, can't ask for much more. And the 12 goal difference is going to be massive for us, I feel. Uh, it's all looking pretty good. Right, when are we going to come back? Um, I'm going to try and play quite a good amount of games. Um, do you know what? We're going to go all the way to Osset United. We're going to play that many games, uh, so we're going to get a good lot of games played. Uh, we'll come back for Osset, I think. That would probably be a good one to come back for. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like. Remember to come and follow me on Twitter. Remember to comment. Remember to do anything to interact. It would be absolutely fantastic. It's been a pleasure, as always. I look forward to the next episode. Bye for now.